Okay, so after many trials and errors, I found a sequence of patching I7-4510U, this HP X360, HD4400. I'm going to go through the sequence for anyone who has the same laptop. With this sequence, you will have closed lid sleep both with or without the AC charger and also the USB will automatically reconnect 3.0 after the sleep and wake. First, we duplicate all the SSDT and DSDT that we extracted from read write everything from Windows. So these are raw files. So what we need to do is to disassemble all of this. CD, drag the whole folder in here. So now the next one I want to do, to disassemble it, you need to use IASL. With the flag minus DA star dot AML. So now we look inside here, we have all the DSL. Is to find out where the GFX0 is, and I already found out it was in SSDT3. Which is GFX0 is here. So there's two files in here that we're gonna use to patch the whole system. Is the DSDT and SSDT3. So the first one we want to do is to duplicate the original one first. Duplicate. Now I have one. So normally I call, I rename this DSDT2 with SDT3. I'm going to duplicate So, this one will be done later, but let's do with the first one, which is DSDT2. Double click it, Mac IASL will open automatically. First, we need to set this up. The preference, we use ACPI 5.0. Now, general, we just leave everything as supposed to be. But the sources is very important. We need to go get the Rehab Man laptop DSDT patch. So this one, Wi-Fi hooked up, it will have all the patches ready for it. Now, first thing we want to do with the original one is compile and see if it works. So we have two errors. Check with parseop store and I remembered he had one fixed already. Store, okay? So let's check that. So there's two patches and two changes so it looks good. So let's do apply. Close it and compile. So now we have three different errors. So if you see anything that name already exists in scope, we just command the whole line out. So 60. So to command something, forward slash star, and to the other side, star, and forward slash. That means we command that whole line out. So number 62, same thing. So now let's find the next one, the next error. Result is not used, operator has no effect. This one, there's two ways to do this one. And I found that it works for me 
better if I use zero ARG zero I mean I think it's argument comma and one so this is how you fix this one or you can use argument one comma ARG zero but this one works for me zero error now so what we're going to do is to save as DSDT2 the step one compile okay now we're going to go back and start with the DSDT2 again now here's it already has the compiled version in there already from here we keep using the same one now we're going to go to the next one which is number two so let's stop here for now